Hi, um, this is a presentation on design and analysis of GAN based totem pole bridgeless PFC circuit for EV charging application. Um, done by myself, Swati Ramasamy, and my project mate, Ankit Vivek Deshpande. So, the objective of this project is to implement a GAN based totem pole PFC equipped with both voltage and current control, and that's going to be implemented in both single phase and three phase. And here it is an uh, overall schematic of the implementation of PFC in EV application. Here's a circuit diagram for the totem pole topology and it has got like two active devices on the high frequency leg and uh, passive diodes on the low frequency leg and this in turn can be replaced by the active devices and it is shown on the diagram on the right. Um, here's a plex schematic for GAN based PFC and we could see the input supply on the left side and has got like two legs with GAN devices on the high frequency leg and MOSFET on the low frequency leg. And the output from measure from the resistive load is actually fed back to the controller which is on the top left. Um, here's the controller circuit for both voltage and current control. The measured DC output voltage is actually compared with the reference signal to create an error signal which is then passed to the PA compensator and then it's passed to the PAR compensator which in then it's um, compared with the reference carrier signal to create a duty cycle which is then sent to the gates on low and high frequency legs. Um, to start with the simulation results for single phase, here we could see the regulated DC voltage for a reference of 600 volt. And then the bottom diagram shows the FFT analysis with a THG of 4.76%. Now, and for change in the reference voltage from 600 to 400, the converter was able to follow the change within like 0.5 seconds. For dynamic load change from full load to no load, the converter was able to respond to it in 0.06 seconds. Um, here you can see the two-phase interleaved PFC utilized with GAN. On the top left diagram shows the overall schematic of, of the two-phase. On the bottom right shows the control unit implemented in it. Our summation results for two-phase here can be seen the regulated DC voltage at the left diagram for a reference voltage of 600 volt and the FFT analysis on the right with a THC of um, less than 5%. Here are a few waveforms for the input source current to understand the de delay time at the zero cross. Um, for change in the reference voltage from 600 to 400 volt, the converter was able to respond to it within like 0.05 seconds. Here are some analysis on the converter behavior based on the temperature. So the loss analysis is actually calculated from an operating temperature range from 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, which uh, tend to maintain the same efficiency with a buffer of 1%. This slide shows the dynamic load characteristic and its performance as like very low supply voltage around like 100 volts. So to control main characters observed are high efficiency, high um, thermal performance, and then low THG with better performance at different operating temperatures.